In this example, we have a part with three open pockets that we wish to machine. I'm going to use a pattern with a 2D curve profile strategy to machine these areas. Later on, I'm also going to use a different pattern to add a chamfer to the top edge of each pocket. The first thing to do is to create a pattern. So if I select these three pockets, and then create a pattern, and then use the insert model option. We now have a pattern ready to be machined. So if we open up a 2D curve profile, select a pattern, I'm going to use this machinable sections options page to change the cutting area of each curve on the pattern. This little green ball here signifies a key point which I can move to anywhere along the curve. This will limit the machining areas in between these two key points. I'm going to do the same with the other two pockets. Or in this form, we can also change the machining side where the tool is positioned along the curve and we can also change the cut direction from climb to conventional or vice versa. If I accept those changes as they are, I can now pick my lower limit. If I select this icon here, it allows me to interactively select it by clicking on a surface. Next thing I need to do is to define a cut distance. As I'm going to cut to depth, I do not need to enter any stock depth. However, I can enter stock width. Judging on the size of our part, we can enter a stock width to either area clear the pockets, or we can do it to just finish the pockets off. So in this example, I'm just going to enter a value of 10 millimeters with a step over of 2 millimeters, which will just give a basic finish to the side walls of the pockets. Finally, I just need to calculate my block and then calculate the toolpath. As you can see, we have five toolpath segments that are used to finish these pocket areas. The next toolpath I would like to create will be used to finish this corner region here. All I need to do is open back up our first toolpath, copy it, then go back into the machinable sections options. As I only want to focus on this corner here, I can now drag my key points. And I can also delete these curves from the pattern. I can accept those changes. Our lower limit remains the same. Cut distances. We will need to cut a stock width of about 3 millimeters with a step over of 0.5 and then let's do a final pass along the wall with a step over of 0.1 and then calculate. And as you can see we have a well defined finishing tool path for this corner region as defined by our limited curve. Finally what I want to do is to create a chamfer along the top edge of each pocket. To do this, I need to create another pattern. So if I select the top surface, create pattern, and then insert model again. Before I proceed to open up a toolpath strategy, I'm going to edit this pattern. So if I just open up the curve editor by double clicking on the pattern, I could have also right clicked and gone to curve editor. First going to select the two holes and delete them. I'm going to use the cut item tool to limit the curve to the pocket areas only. So if I just select on the open and close corners of each pocket, this will cut the curve into multiple sections which I can then proceed to delete one by one. I can accept those changes, turn back on my model, and then open up a chamfer milling strategy. So I'll make sure our new pattern is selected. I'm going to open up the machinable sections options. 
where immediately I can see that the tool is positioned on the wrong side of the curve. All I need to do is hit this button here and I will reverse the machining side. If I accept those changes, I want the curve position to be on the corner and then in chamfer definition I'll leave the angle definition as defined by the tool, the tool being a chamfer tool that I already have. The final thing I need to do is add some cut distances, so let's just say 2 millimeters with a step over of 0.5 millimeters. And again, I'll leave on a finished pass. And then go ahead and calculate that now. And as you can see, Paramill has automatically generated a tool path at the correct depth and width from the curve to cut a 45 degree chamfer in the top edge of each pocket.